kind of try a fit here. Clamp things up, see how it's going to go. And yes, just so you all know, it's unloaded. Completely. Settle in. Kind of an estimate there with that clamp. I mean that that was perfect. I just gotta make sure I sew it off to keep it right there. This looks decent. I might cut it down a little bit more. I don't want it super tight. It'd be something like this. Next I have to put a piece of leather. I'm gonna use this piece here inside and then fold it down around and make a loop. I want to try to cut this in such a way that I can get it to come across the front. You'll see what I mean later. If you know anything about Western holsters, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So the idea is to take this back piece, put a couple slits in it, round it or whatever, put it to the top, bend and feed the holster through, and this way you can put a concho on it or bullets in it, whatever you want to do. Make it more Western looking. Once again, I'm working from scrap. I want to use all the same colors so the die comes out the same in the end. So get onto that and we'll see. I have to glue it up here on the top and then I'll have to sew this tab on, making sure that it, it's centered down here on the bottom to try to do what I want to do. And I just made little marks. Now I'll just clamp it and glue it and let it dry up. Mark the back side. I'll scrape this one up just to make that glue hold better. Caleb has it in his head that uh, he wants a store-bought one made by somebody else because he doesn't think daddy can do it good enough. I made a mirror's leg holster for Richard from the Hog Zone. I'll pop a link on there just in case anybody wants something on that. Check that one out. It was a pretty good mirror's leg. My first try, I used a Red Rider BB gun and a Rossi shotgun for it but out of glue. I'm going to take this out, I'm going to clamp it in the bench vise and that way it'll be good and tight. Okay, that flap dried up a little bit. It's going to give a good little space here for your belt to fit into, so that's going to work out. A little bit high here, so this will get trimmed. I've made a line where my next stitches will go to close up the case. Of course first I have to stitch this piece on, make sure that's good, and then I'll be gluing this down and punching stitch holes here. Alright so I have that all stitched up, solidify that some. Just kind of went with some fitting, see how it was going to go. I had my pieces on, made sure it wasn't going to be too tight, and then I marked along here on the inside where I want my glue. I don't want to get glue past this line. Now I just have to go out and give me some blocks, put some glue in this, clamp it and glue it and let this dry. Alright, this pretty much dried up. It's really, really super tight right now. Um, hard to get back in because it hits here. So later on after I sew this up, I'll wedge some leather in there and wet it so it'll stretch it out some. But once the stitches are in, the stitches will be backed off some and I think it'll be fine. Already it's a lot better just right there. So that shows me with the, just the stitches, it's going to be fine. Alright, I'm going to mark out some lines on here and where I'm going to put my stitches and I'll start popping them and uh, get this project just about finished. That's going to be a problem. like that. Just come along. Can't even bring this. Something like that looks better. It's kind of traditional. You see how that's all pounded out now. I'm just going to start up this side and work my way up through. 